The goal of any business is to get bigger. Every business book, blog, YouTube channel, and podcast is designed to teach you to grow your business. But as you grow a bigger business, is it also possible to grow a bigger family? Hey moms, welcome to another episode of the Life Unboxed blog show, where we talk about all things momtrepreneur, from raising your kids to running a business, and the most important one, keeping your sanity. I am Jody the mom from lifeunboxed.blog, and if you're enjoying this content, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment below. If you're listening to the podcast, be sure to subscribe to the podcast, share the podcast with your friends, and leave a five-star review wherever you're listening. I truly appreciate your support. And remember, I would love to hear your questions that you just can't seem to get answered. I know when I was starting out on this entrepreneur journey, I had so many questions and they were so hard to find. And sometimes not every article or post you find answers your specific question. So if you have one that you just can't seem to get answered, I would love to give it a go. So be sure to let me know what it is. Mom, you know this is a blog that breaks all the rules or at least questions all the gurus. Many people don't think this is possible, that creating a business and growing a bigger family should be separate and compartmentalized. But let's break all the rules. If you want to be with your kids and grow a bigger family and have a successful business, you can. So let's just forget what all those gurus tell you. If you are going from one kid to two kids or five kids to six kids, you are growing a bigger family. And growing a bigger family doesn't necessarily mean you have a dozen kids. Any addition is causing your family to get bigger. And growing these tiny humans while expanding your business can be overwhelming, but you can do it. Mom, a bigger family is a blessing. So kids are the greatest source of joy and also your greatest source of angst. That's just the truth of it. All right. So this is a blog that's also very honest or a show, podcast, YouTube show. That's also very honest. So it's true. They are going to bring you the most joy. and You can't even imagine how much joy they bring. But they're also going to be the greatest source of your angst and frustration and all of that. Because you love them. But kids are truly a blessing. Whether you have one kid or ten kids, they are a blessing. You've probably seen the memes about kids driving you crazy or being home with your kids as a negative. But mom, let me tell you, it is a blessing. Can I say that enough? Give yourself permission to wholeheartedly embrace motherhood. You are more than just your business and you have a fixed time frame to raise your tiny humans into well-rounded adults. There are no redos here. So let's make the most of our time. Don't let this be a regret. So I recently read an article and it was about Nicole Kidman. And she said her biggest regret in life had nothing to do with her career, but she wished she had more kids, like 10 kids. While this may not be your goal of having 10 kids, if you want to grow a bigger family, then don't be afraid to do it. Now, I'm not saying it will be easy. No, it's going to be hectic. It's going to be crazy. And you will never have a dull moment. But so many people later in life talk about regrets. And I've heard this as a regret from so many people that they wish they had a bigger family. Mom, it's not easy doing what we are doing. Whether you have two kids or six kids, it is a tough job raising them. And I'm not saying you need to have six kids, but if you had the thought of growing your family, then don't be afraid to do it. You can grow a bigger family while growing your business. It is possible. So in 2019, we found out we were going to have a Christmas baby. 
and we were so excited. When we were first married, my husband said he wanted two kids. I said four kids, so we settled on three kids. We now have six. I say all that to say, don't box yourself into the things you said when you were young. So when I was six months pregnant with our little Christmas surprise, I started getting more calls for my virtual assistant business. And my thought was, why the heck now? This is the worst timing. But, you know, I did discover something, and that was it could be done. I could take on more clients while I am six months pregnant and do it well. So was it a lot of work? It was. Did all the clients or all the potential clients who called me, did I land them? No, but that's okay. I did land two of them. And at the time, that was probably all I could manage. Okay, so things to keep in mind when you're bringing on new clients and expanding your family. Number one, you can do it. Whether you are pregnant with your first baby or your sixth break, pre- baby, pregnancy can be overwhelming with all of the symptoms. And I have more shows on how to manage those that I will leave those links below. Your body is morphing and hormones are raging. It's so easy to feel overwhelmed. So remember this, mom. Take a deep breath, let it out slowly, and know that you can do it. But let me add this caveat. Only you know how busy you are, how much time you have. No matter what I say, I don't know this for you. So really examine if you have the bandwidth And if not, then pass on the client. That's okay to do that. But don't make the decision when you are feeling overwhelmed. Really take the time to think things through. Number two, balance. Yes, remember balance. But remember, it's not a zen-like balance. No, but more like the balance of walking a tightrope. So it's not easy. But on the practical side... Remember to have office hours, set your expectations for turning in deliverables, set boundaries with yourself and clients. All of these will help to bring balance to your work and life. And this is never perfect. Some days will be better than others, but keep in mind that other days will not be perfectly balanced. So if you need to order takeout to keep your sanity, then do it. And you know what? That's okay. So on another very practical note to help find the balance as your family gets bigger, embrace your crock pot, Instapot, rice cooker, and any other kitchen appliance that you can set and forget. These are really lifelines for me, so I will leave links below so that you can take a look at them um, and you know just see if they would work for you. They make cooking so much easier for me. And I will just be honest with you, mom, I hate to cook. Like being a uh, domestic is not something that I'm very good at. So embrace these things that you can, the appliances that you can set and forget. Number three, inform new clients of maternity leave. So when my business started booming while I was pregnant, I just let the new client uh, no, I informed them of my due date and how long I plan to take off for maternity leave. Fortunately, she was coming in December. So most businesses kind of, um, are slower during the holidays. So it didn't interrupt the flow too much, but do you want to know something? All of these new clients were excited for me and did not hesitate to bring me on as their virtual assistant. So when your newest edition arrives, check out the Essential Baby Gear list, and I will leave the link below, when working from home with the baby. Seriously, these this list, and it's not a list of 100, it's this like, I think there's five things on the list. They have been a lifesaver. So I've had two babies while working from home, and these are my must-haves for baby gear. Mom, embrace your crazy life of a bigger family. It is only a season. 
The days are long, but the years are short. So I didn't realize how true this statement was until I had a 16-year-old and a 2-year-old. I remember so clearly when he was 2 and into everything, my 16-year-old, when he was 2 and into everything. Now he is a young man. And looking back, time has just flown by. But I remember those days of when he was young and it's so physically exhausting and they are into everything. But remember, it is only for a season and seasons always change. Mom, I am so glad you joined me today. If you want to help spread the word, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. You can listen to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Remember to check out the Life Unbox store for all of your Mom Boss merch. You can support the show with coffee. Visit ko-fi.com forward slash Life Unboxed blog to buy this tired mama a cup of joe. For more great entrepreneur content, follow Life Unbox on social media or check out lifeunbox.blog. Be sure to share the podcast and videos with your friends. I will see you in the next show. Thank you.